Good evening, my name is Marlene Silva. Um, now I wrote out a three minute speech a week ago, sure that I knew what I was going to say and the reasons why I felt the way that I did, including hours of research that I've done on homelessness. And then today at approximately three o'clock in the afternoon, a homeless man died in front of me at the 99 cent store of Pacific Coast Highway as I cleaned up his vomit. Oh my God. I can tell you that the business of homelessness involves real people, real lives. Someone's mother, father, child, brother, sister. The business of homelessness is not a business. Um, they're human beings that are sleeping on the street, dying at the 99 cent store. The homeless are here, and they're here in large amounts, and they'll continue to return in large amounts. You must set up a task force, a serious, a real task force. The greatest resource of information is going to be your police department, your paramedics, your fire department. They're dealing with a crisis of homelessness every day. <coughs> homelessness is not a freedom to roam and do whatever you want. That's long gone. These human beings are suffering, and we as a sanctuary state, and Los Angeles as a sanctuary city, are begging them for them to come here. If this is what you ask for in voting, then you must provide them with the assistance that they need. This issue will not decrease, it will decrease, it will continue to increase. We've got perfect weather, lots of places to hide, a great place to live, but you must be razor-like in your intention. So, so far the community is not seriously affected by diseases that comes along with homelessness. The rats, the discarded drug needles, defecating on the streets and bushes, urinating on the streets, uh, businesses and bushes, you will not be able to stop the influx of people coming in unless you can provide a serious plan for this influx which of course includes a place to stay, either before co actually coming here, options, and certainly a place to stay once they are here. I'm hoping that you will take this issue with the seriousness that it deserves and see to it that to preserve the quality of life here in Torrance, many things must be done and they must be done now. So um, I thank you and I appreciate your time tonight.